Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is AI Behavior Tree Decorator, the loop node? Here is our little example. We're going to go ahead and cover what the loop node does. So our loop node is pretty simple. You can access it like any other decorator from either a composite node or a task node. You just right click, add decorator, and in our case it'll be the loop node. Now by default this is what you're going to find on the loop node. Number of loops, defaulting to three, and the infinite loop checkbox. And it's pretty simple. Basically anything this is decorating will loop that many times before it continues on. It, before it returns a success value. So in the case of a sequence where things are done in order, this is going to run three times and then this will run once and this will run runs. Now as an example, if I move the loop node over here to my move to, it will not, it may not work how you'd expect it. Move to will run, it will get to its acceptable radius and immediately fire in its success. Now with the loop on here, it's going to fire three immediate successes in a row before it moves on over here. So you're not going to really see any difference. It's useful for something like maybe a wait or you want to play a sound and then wait after that and you want the sound to continue to loop or maybe you want a continuous move to and you want it to uh, just continually loop. Now, the number of loops basically determines the number of times it loops. So if we run through our example here, what we're going to see happen is this says loops remaining two, loops remaining one, loops remaining zero, and then it's going to move to our next sequence. Move two, wait five seconds, and then it's going to repeat. Keep in mind, once this successfully finishes, this is considered successful. It'll go all the way back to our root, and then our root's going to fire back down. Everything's going to start over from the beginning. We're going to run this wait three times because of our loop, run our move to once, our wait once, go back to the top, and then fire it off again. Now here's something to keep in mind. If you have this set up for an infinite loop and you don't have any way to break out of it, it's going to continue. You're basically just creating a selector with only one branch and you're not really going to ever see the rest of your sequence. You'll notice that we do not have the number of loops left anymore and it's just going to simply continue indefinitely. So make sure you have something like a blackboard decorator or something above it so that way you can break out of the entire sequence. In this case, I can go ahead and set is AI enemy set to allow this to run and when AI enemy is not set it's going to break out of my loop. So if we run this, it should run three times, move, wait, and repeat. Even though I have this set to infinite, the difference that's going to happen now is it's going to abort out when this fails. And then our AI enemy itself, well, sorry, <laughs> it's going to abort out assuming I tell it to. There we go. Now we should see the required observed. This will run. This will change to none. This will abort self. And our infinite loop now is no longer infinite because we no longer have a valid enemy. And to show you that working, if I unhook the infinite loop, and I was to go ahead and run this, we'll see it work like we want to, but because this is set to abort self, we're going to get halfway through our move to, and then it'll abort, and the whole sequence will stop. And there we go. So that is our loop decorator node. It's useful for looping something. It only has a few parameters. Make sure if you're going to set it up as an infinite loop, you have some way of escaping out of it. And it's primarily useful for looping through individual tasks and things like that. If you have a question or a comment, please feel free to leave them below.